under the mission begin again. Now, hotels, guest houses, lodges can all begin to reopen from the 8th of July. This, uh, this of course, applies only to hotels and lodges outside of containment zones. And the operational capacity is limited to only 33%. People with symptoms will not be allowed in. Thermal screening, sanitizers is a must. Wearing masks for both guests and employees is a must. The AC temperatures will be regulated between 24 to 30 degrees Celsius. Uh, digital payments must be encouraged and guests have to have the Arogya Setu app on their phones. Lobbies, common areas uh, should all uh, strictly adhere to social distancing rules. And uh, this is for only hotels at the moment, not restaurants. Restaurants guidelines are not yet out. So that's the big story that is coming in from uh, uh, Maharashtra at the moment. My colleague Purva has more information on this. Maharashtra government has come out with the standard operating procedures for the hotels, guest uh, houses and lodges to reopen from 8th of July. Now remember this is only for the hotels, lodges and uh, guest houses and not yet for the restaurants but uh, definitely for hotels to reopen from 8th of July. There are certain uh, in fact strict guidelines that the uh, Maharashtra government has come out with uh, especially uh, when it comes to social distancing they have asked the hotels uh, to rearrange their sitting in the lobby also, only the asymptomatic people, guests, uh, the asymptomatic guests only, they will be allowed to enter. Now, how that will be uh, checked, where there will be an Arogya Setu app, which is now mandatory, and it will be checked at the entrance, then thermal screening will be done at the entrance, then uh, at various spots, there will be hand uh, sanitizers, now preferably with a pedal, because they don't want anyone touching it. Uh, minimum contact is something that is uh, what is being uh, guided, and in in fact, even the, at the check-in and check-out, uh, the uh, Maharashtra government has asked the hotels to do it uh, via digital way. So, which means that there will be online forms which the guests will have to fill in. They will have to show their ID cards and uh, that's how the check-in and check-out will be done. Even the number of people in, inside the elevators will be restricted. So, they have asked the hotels to uh, make such arrangements. Then even the AC. Now, uh, uh, even the AC temperature should be between 24 degree to 30 degree degrees Celsius. Now that is what is advisable by the uh, government and um, the cleaning staff now uh, even whatever uh, the, ra the railings or the doorknobs uh, that also needs to be sanitized every uh, in fact frequently and uh, once the uh, guest checks out uh, for 24 hours that room needs to be unoccupied for the sanitization purpose. So uh, basically all these strict uh, guidelines that the government has come out with and uh, they have asked that only uh, the, uh, if these guidelines are followed, they can reopen their hotels uh, and uh, guest houses from 8th of July. Now, also would like to tell you that uh, the tourism and the, uh, uh, in fact, the hospitality sector itself is a 9.2 percent of the state GDP. So that is a sizable chunk. And yesterday, that is why the hotels and restaurant owners, in fact, had a video conferencing uh, with the chief minister, the tourism minister, Aditya Thakre, as well as chief secretary and the secretaries of the tourism in, uh, uh, department. So uh, post uh, that uh, video conferencing, these guidelines have now been formulated. They are out and uh, now the government will have uh, the hotels and uh, uh, the guest house and the lodge owners will have to abide by this and only then they will be allowed to open and one more important point is that they will have to uh, in fact operate at a 33 percent of its capacity so definitely not a hundred percent definitely not a hundred percent reopening but 33 percent